Fits and Tolerances with Power Dimensions. For this lesson, we will be displaying the Power Dimensioning dialog box. To set this up, type in A-M-P-O-W-E-R-D-I-M-E-D-I-T-O-R at the command line, press Enter, Enter a zero, and press Enter again. To add tolerances or fits to an existing dimension, double-click on the dimension to bring up the Power Dimensioning dialog box. Fits and tolerances are controlled by the two buttons in the upper right corner. For precision shafts and bores, you can click on the Fit button, and that will expand the dialog box. You can see that the symbol right now is showing a lowercase l, a lowercase c, and a 3. To change this value, either type it in directly or click on the button with the three dots to bring up another dialog box. And here you can pick the different values off of a list and be given a direct reading of what that means from your precision shaft tolerance. You can also see the display of the mating bore. As you change your values out of its list, you get a chance to see what the overall maximum clearance and minimum clearance interference and so on will be depending on your selections. To change the look of the fit itself, click in the preview button to bring up another dialog box. Click on the preview button to drop down the list of available choices. There you can see we've changed it from the fit being displayed in a different color to now being the same color as the rest of the dimension. If instead of fits you would be adding standard tolerances, click on the other button and now you can see that the tolerance is currently showing to four decimal places and there are no deviation values. So I can go and type in information here. When you enter the information, be aware that you need to put in a minus sign to indicate that it's a plus and minus tolerance. You can control the precision of your overall dimension as well as your tolerance. And if you'd like to show the tolerance in a different manner, again, click on the preview, click on the drop down arrow in the next dialog box, and then choose the display that you would like to have. For instance, let's change this display to a max min rather than a deviation tolerance. 